Hello, my marvellous sausages. Now, on your travels in the throne world, you may have come across this stuff called Qualicor that splops out of people's backsides occasionally. Now, this is linked to something called the Memory Alembic Quest. So, what I'm going to do in this vid is show you exactly how to get the Qualicor, two different sources, and get that baby finished. The quest, I mean, not a baby. Now, the Memory Alembic Quest is started when you pick up your first piece of Qualicor and return to Finch in the Giggity and then he'll give you the quest and you'll see a bar basically on that quest tab and you have to fill that up by collecting this absurdly named Qualicor. It's completely made up. So how do you reliably get this Qualicor? Now there's two ways. Now the first way is by killing waves of these things called Wandering Lucent Hive Inquisitors. Now these fellows, they appear in all three areas in the throne world. So that's the Quagmire, the Mazmire, <laughs> and the Fluorescent Canal Mire. And these are totally random. So you might have to sit about quite a while just emoting your ass off. Off until they appear and when they do finally get off their lazy backsides and saunter into your zone you'll see a message on the kill feed you know that thing there in the bottom left hand corner and it says loosened hive inquisitors in your sector I don't know if it says it in that accent it's just writing and when you see that head out to find them now they do stick out like a sore thumb as they all glow bright white which is very considerate of them so you kill this first little batch and then it will say an inquisitor commander is incoming so you just kill them and you basically repeat this process three times now they don't always appear in the same area so you might have killed some let's say for example i was in the quagmire and i was down here by the uh lost sector area i killed a bunch of turnips here and then the next set appeared actually in the uh, marbly castle over my shoulder there so i had to find them in that area so you're gonna have to search around and find and kill three waves of these turds then once you've killed the three waves it then says in your feed loosened hive light bearers incoming exercise extreme caution or words to that effect and uh, now if you are under leveled you might find these fellows a bit of a bloody handful because there's three of them and they're flinging all the light at you but not to worry you will be able to do it loads of people tend to pile in anyway once you do that a chest will drop that'll give you a powerful reward and then of course some of this qualicor great now there doesn't seem to be a limit on how many of these you can do in a day but it can be a lengthy process waiting for them to turn up now the other way to find it is to activate the tier 2 deep site that reveals a glowing scorn corpse nearby now these deep sites are located in each of the areas now I found one uh, in the quagmire giggity right down by the lost sector there I activated there and there was a scorn corpse nearby they're quite nearby you're not really going to miss them just have a little bit of a scout around if you don't see anything else obviously happening like like stairways appearing or floating platforms you're pretty much guaranteed that there's a scorn corpse laying about nearby I found one here in the miasma just as you enter the area and turn right and then in the uh, fluorescent canal I found one down in the pool on this uh, little fountainy plant type thing and there was one tucked away under the bridge there but generally Scorn corpses are really easy to find. Now, once you found a corpse, you go up to it and interact with it and fiddle with its entrails, and then a green trail of glowing gunge will appear. Now, it looks much like the gunge that we used to have in uh, Season of the Hunt, you know? Now, you follow that trail of gunge until you get to this little piece of debris. It kind of looks like a hip bone to me. Now, when you investigate that piece of debris, your kill feed on the bottom will say, On the trail! Then you just follow the trail until you get to a point where a hive light bearer appears. Appears. And they do sometimes have lovely names like this one, the Secrets of the Severed Flesh. Sounds a bit pervy to me and also might be a pain in the ass to fill in medical forms with a name like that. Now, once you kill these guys, they drop a chest and you get some Qualicor and you also get a powerful reward. Now, these on-the-trail missions can only be done once a day. So once you've done it, you're going to have to wait until reset until you can do another one. I have tried it and then I got to the bit where you find a little bit of debris and it says, sod off and come back tomorrow. So there we go, once a day for those babies. Now, all the Qualicor you pick up, each one gives you about 11% completion of the quest. So you're looking at about, what, about nine? of them something like that to get the quest completely finished 
Something else to be aware of as well, killing these bum pipes in these three areas after you follow the trail, they'll complete a triumph called the Ascended Bounty Hunter. And now you have to get one in each of the areas. So if you start the on the trail one in the Miasma, you'll end up in Witch's Echo. And if you start the one in the Quagmire, you'll end up in the Alluring Curtain. And finally, if you start the one in the Fluorescent Canal, you'll end up in the Queen's Bailey. Yes, there we are. Is that right? Yes, I think so. So you've picked up enough Qualico, filled up your meter, you go back to Finch, and then he'll give you something called Refined Qualico. Now, this is used to open a hidden chest, and to find that chest, you need to hunt down those Lucent Hive Inquisitors again, the lazy ass pipes. You know, the ones who never turn up, the glowy ones. Now, once you fight through that bunch of tykes, uh, a deep sight will appear. You know, the glowing, misty, black, weirdy looking thing. Now, you activate that, and then there'll be a glowing trail that will take you to a chest called the Executioner's Horde. Open that, and your job is done. You'll also get a nice piece of powerful gear, and then you'll complete another triumph called the Executioner's Horde as well. And that's it. That is really it done. Or is it? Because you see, firstly, there's another triumph called Predator of Predators, which requires you opening ten of the Executioner's chests. Not the refined qualifier ones, but the ones that you get just from following the on-the-trail missions, yes? And I just want to stop the press, because I've just checked we've had a new hotfix that's turned up today, and it seems that the Memory Alembic quest has now been fixed, which means it's going to be weekly, so you can do this every week to get some lovely juicy extras, which is absolutely fantastic news, because I had loads of that bloody qualico, well, two of them, on my Guardian and in the post office, which was a right pain in the ass. So that's good news, isn't it, folks? So it looks like we can start collecting them from Finch from next weekly reset. So there we go, that's absolutely bloody everything on Qualico, Refined Qualico, and the Memory Alembic Quest. I hope you enjoyed the vid, and don't forget, give me a like and subscribe if you did and you want to see more. And if you wanted to, you could pop over to my new live streaming channel, where I live stream roughly twice a week, yes, I'm trying to do it twice a week, and generally talk bollocks and do Destiny stuff, although we will be doing other games as well as I find my feet. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage, oot, 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 oot. Goes the weasel.